The uh, tarp roof is holding up nice. Nice thing about this too is uh, when you go inside, you know, you can just pat the roof and it'll, all the snow will come off. So you don't have to shovel it off or anything. These are these chickens first time seeing snow. Sorry ladies, I think free range season's over. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'll be curious to see how much their egg production changes over the winter. I always forget to bring Sierra's basket that she's got. So I just end up carrying them in my shirt. So I think we're going to start another YouTube channel for Sierra. It'll be the same type of videos as these, but kind of from her perspective, because a lot of you guys always ask what she's up to or what her thoughts are on things. So we've been talking about it for a while and we're like, why don't you just start your own channel and it'll be, I mean, our lifestyle, but from your point of view, I think people might like that. So, um, but we're trying to come up with a name for it. Uh, I told her that she should call it Sierra's cabin. So it's Kyle's cabin and Sierra's cabin. So I think that'd be easy for people to remember, but let me know what you guys think about that or what you should call it. All right, well, the snow picked up a little bit now. We'll see how much we end up with, but just looking at the porch here, it looks like we've got... I'd say a good three inches, three and a half. But it's gonna snow for quite a while longer, so we'll see what this looks like in the morning. Yeah, we ended up with a decent amount of snow. It's that heavy stuff. Look what I did to my little trees here. I'll have to go knock that off. Spruce them back up again. Hi, Skeeter. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Skeeter loves the snow. How'd you fare, chickens? Let's go see how the log cabin tarp roof fared.
So I never touched the roof since early yesterday morning. But you can see it looks like most of the snow just slid right off anyway. There's probably three inches on there of good, heavy, heavy, wet stuff. I mean, you guys saw how much it's bending trees and branches. So yeah, it will hold up just fine. It is heavy. Skeeter. Are you loving it? You love the snow. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Skeeter, are you just loving life? Yeah, I think it's safe to say that rainwater collection season is over. I'll have to empty these out so they don't freeze and break. But you can see with the 12-12 pitch, I haven't done anything to it. The snow just slides right off. It's really nice not ever having to worry about a snow load on your roof. And then it kind of builds up right here throughout the course of the winter when we get more snowfalls. And that's just prime snow melt right there for water which we'll be using all winter, so it works out well. But yeah, I'll have to remove that gutter. I only have it screwed in in a few spots because I knew I'd be wanting to take it off uh, when it started snowing like this. You can see how that the little downspout there is kind of bent in. But I'll take it off and retire it for the year because we are into snow melt season, which I prefer way more than rainwater collection, personally. Because then you're not reliant upon the rain you know, you get another good snowfall like this and you have an unlimited supply of water. And it's really easy to just fill up a stock pot with snow and set it on the wood stove. And we always have access to water. Yeah, it's pretty. We will do a well uh, next spring once the ground thaws. We're kind of right on that border of being able to do a sand point or not. So I think we're just gonna get one drilled it's kind of why we waited on that. We're just going to pay to get one drilled. That way we have, you know, we know 100% we're going to have water. Because we're right on that border. It's like talking to people in the area. We're right at like 30, 35 feet, which is kind of right on the, I know the the border for being able to do a sandpoint. And I hate to buy, you know, buy the stuff for a sandpoint, do all that pounding, all that, and then come up empty handed or have, you know, a well that doesn't produce. So I think it's just going to be best to just save up and drill one uh, in the springtime. But I called a well drilling company and told them about our situation and what we'd want for a well. And he said they could do it for about 5,000 bucks. 100% guarantee that we'd have good water. So, watch the ads. No, I'm just kidding. I'd skip them too. But I've melted snow for water for, you know, a couple years. So what's, what's one more year? Well, winter has officially arrived at our new home. Now we just need the lakes to freeze over. 
But I had to show you guys the first snowfall of the year because Sierra and I have been waiting for this ever since we started building it. But stay tuned. I'm gonna outfit my the new log cabin back there, get the inside all finished up. I need to install that wood stove ASAP. And yeah, we'll be spending a lot of time up at the remote log cabin, like I said. Got another build going on out there and some other fun things coming up this winter. So appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.